AI has done some really impressive feats, like beat us at Go and drive our cars, but does it really think like we do? I'm a cognitive scientist, and I'll be telling you a little bit about why it's hard to be human-like. Let's begin with the notion that anything that we think about has to be represented in our brains. We describe the, what we see um, with a vocabulary in the brain sort of language. We can only learn about cats chasing mice if we can represent cats chasing and mice and the relationship between these things. The vocabulary in AI system looks, in vision AI systems, looks sort of like this. These are little elements that you know, an AI would use to recognize whether what it's seeing is in fact a cat. So it would identify these little elements um, to determine whether what this thing is. That's how it describes the world, and that's the way that it, it can think about things. You can actually probe a lot of the internal thinking of an AI using these uh, tools that allow us to enter a text prompt and ask the, the, the model to give you what it thinks it, uh, it, it, you know, of this prompt. You might have seen these images. This is one from the system called DALI, created by OpenAI. This is pretty good, an astronaut riding a horse. Great, right? Um, here's a cat chasing a mouse <laughs> from a similar model. Now, there's a couple things wrong. And well, a few, but <laughs> the thing that's most wrong is it's unclear who's doing the thing. Now, we as humans are excellent at this. This is what makes us really good. We can quickly identify who is the agent doing the acting. The blue person here is kicking the patient uh, who's receiving the action. We see this so instantly that it affects our processing of everyday visual scenes. After seeing that kind of scene, if you see another one with a different action, like kissing, but the blue person is still the agent, you'll be faster to process this than if their roles switch, and now the red person is the agent doing the action. Um, this is part of our cognitive toolkit. We immediately see who is doing what to whom, and this is what allows us to understand something like whether the cat is chasing the mouse, um, and so on. Um, so this is the ability that I think uh, AI might be missing um, in today's world. We can combine elements according to rule-based relations. DALI can sometimes do this too. Here is its output for a spoon and a cup. That's not bad. But when you do something a little unusual, like ask it for a cup on a spoon, um, it doesn't do so well. This is a new combination that violates kind of the typical thing. And so unfortunately, it gets it a little bit wrong. This is important because if your self-driving car can't figure out if this is a person on a bike or a bike on a person, you might be in some trouble. Now let's do a little experiment. I'd like you to try to recall these images. Did you see this one? What about this one? Aha. Perfect. You're right in line with the data. In fact, that wasn't what you saw. The original is up there. But the reason you accepted the one on the bottom is because it matched the abstract pattern. The second and third items were the same. We do this so instantly. This is just part of how we encode the world. And so this is actually part of what we see. We see patterns like ABB versus ABA. And that allows us to encode the relations among things in a way that AI is still very bad at. It allows us to think about a cup on a cat on a spoon versus a spoon on a cat on a cup. This is so easy, <laughs> right? <laughs> to be human-like, you need the right vocabulary and the ability to combine elements in the right way. In conclusion, you should be skeptical about your self-driving car's ability to put a cup on a spoon. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for watching, I'm Brady. And I'm Firein, and we're the people behind Ignite Talks HQ. The speaker you just watched was in a race against time. Every Ignite Talk is 20 slides, and the slides change every 15 seconds, whether you're ready or not, so you've gotta keep up. It's out of control. Could you do this? <laughs> We think so. Follow us in the usual places to learn more about how you can give a talk. And don't forget to subscribe for more speedy talks. <laughs>